We have moved further down the Rhine River and it's time to explore another city in France. Now, if you remember our last episode where we were exploring France, we were in Riquier, which was a very small town. Today we're in Strasbourg. Strasbourg is much larger, the city center itself having a population of nearly 300,000 people. This is St. Nicholas Church, built between 1387 and 1454, and the tapering spire here was actually erected in 1585. I'm not sure I'll ever get used to just how ornate and fancy the architecture of these buildings are. They're just beautiful things to behold. Just crossing the canal here on the Pont St. Thomas, and that building that's now on the left of the shot is actually a fire station or emergency services building, the Centre de Secours Strasbourg Finkwiller. I kind of said that with more of a German accent than French, but I'm not very good with foreign languages. There's a closer view of it. Uh, just a very unique fire station, unlike anything I've seen in North America. This here is the Pont St. Martin, or the St. Martin Bridge for the English speakers. This waterway is actually the Ill River, I-L-L, -L, and just up here on the right side of the shot is the only lock on the entire river, as we're really coming into the heart of the Petite France quarter of Strasbourg. Here's a better look at the lock up close. You can see the gates there that allowed uh, small boats to traverse the river. And these ducks don't seem to have any issue with navigation on the waterway at all. Now I know it's going to be well into the new year before I get this video posted and you get to see it and so the Christmas decorations will seem a little jarring and almost dated at that point but uh, you know I just can't resist showing them it's uh, you know it's part of the cruise experience and uh, it was a Christmas market cruise and it's unfortunate that it just takes so long for me to get time to edit these videos and that I can't get them out faster for you. Coming up here on an interesting little section is a statue of Johannes Gutenberg. Uh, Gutenberg, of course, in the late 1430s developed the printing press, and this statue was erected here in Strasbourg in 1840 because Gutenberg himself lived in Strasbourg from 1439 to 1444. Now, while I'm really admiring the Christmas decorations here in the foreground, what's coming up is most impressive, and you can get a sneak peek of it there in the background at the end of this street. And what we are walking up to here is the Strasbourg Cathedral, also known as Cathedral of Our Lady of Strasbourg, 
or as they say in French, Cathedrale Notre Dame de Strasbourg. And it is a very impressive building. Originally built between 1176 and 1493, an interesting little piece of trivia, it actually held the record for the tallest building in the world for 227 years, from 1647 to 1874. Now, it wasn't the tallest structure because it wasn't actually as tall at 142 meters as the Great Pyramid of Giza, but the tallest building. So that's really kind of cool, I think. So from the base of the Cathedral of Strasbourg, thank you very much for watching. If you're enjoying what we're doing, please consider subscribing to the channel or giving the video a thumbs up. In the meantime, till we see you next time, here are some penguins and polar bears, because why not? Oh, that's awesome. Well, enjoy. Okay. Oh, those are hypnotic. I love them. It's like, whoa. Like two polar bears over here in the corner. It's like, whoa. It's like, whoa. It's like, whoa. It's like, whoa. It's like, whoa.